Um, to explain, so uh, we have a film fellows program where students ages 15 to 25, high school and college students, uh, work with us on a variety of projects. And so this was one of the projects that they worked with us on. So Kelly was the cinematographer. She did all the interviews. <laughs> Yay, Kelly. They look awesome, by the way. They really come out nice. And Melissa was the artist who did the stills, so like the, um, the stoplight and the, the father and the daughter and, and all the other stills that you saw. With them. Melissa, she was great. And uh, who didn't tell me to like the end, she was our summer intern, and she didn't tell me to like the end of it, like that she was, an, I didn't realize the end of it, that she was an artist. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, <laughs> she, but she came through amazingly. And then we had another um, film fellow who is up at uh, SUNY Fredonia who did the animation for the body bag scene. So, um, so you know, there were a lot of people who took, took, took you know, loved your stories and wanted to honor you. Because really, like, you know, there's nothing we can say, there's nothing we can do to thank you for, like, what you've done. There's nothing we can do to alleviate what you've been through. <laughs> like, I, it, everything falls short. But this was our little thing to just say thank you, you know. Oh, well, Nina, thank you so much. I, I can't believe that, you know, you gave me this great opportunity and, you know, the hospital this great opportunity to tell our story. You know, so thank you. No, <laughs> thank thank you. you. Definitely thank you because you really put it so beautifully together that it, it really, you can actually get a glimpse, a little window of, of seeing what actually happened inside. It's true that you will never ever know, but at least now you actually have some idea of, from, from the people, us, that we were in it day by day. So thank you for, even for taking us as a project in such important thing to document, historical. Absolutely, you know, I, I mean, the historical, but also, I mean, it's so, so you know, the, um, the film started as a filmmaking workshop. So I, because uh, I thought, what I was hearing from everybody coming through the festival was, during this crazy time, I used, art got me through, right? The, the filmmaking got me through. Telling the story of what I was going through helped me deal with it. And so I thought, well, could we offer that to the nurses? Like, <laughs> might that be helpful? You know, because I, I, a good friend of mine is an admin at the hospital, and I just heard all the horror stories, mm -hmm. and oh. I was like, what do we do? Like, there's nothing we can do for these people that's adequate. So that was just, it's like, all right, my little thing. I'm going to try my little thing to help out. Right? Oh, well, uh, so Carla, I mean, I'm so glad that, you know, you rolled this out to Carla, because um, Carla shares an office with me, Oh, no and way. So we were at the microwave, and we are actually talking about WandaVision. <laughs> and I got really excited. I was talking about, like, WandaVision and, you know, comparing it to Kill Bill Volume 2. And, like, we were having this whole <laughs> film analysis. And she was like, oh, I didn't know you were such a film buff. She was like, my friend Nina is offering this program. And I was like, oh, great. So, you know, I took it and ran with it. So oh, God. No, Mindy, like, the whole film happened because of Mindy. Like, you literally, <laughs> I don't know if you... Paid people, or you like you you like went at gunpoint was like you're gonna be there. Like no, there was like a lot. We had <laughs> like twelve more interviews that we didn't integrate into this. So we, we, we can continue. We will make a longer film. Oh, like, I'm happy to come back. I mean, I have I have at least seven parties off the top of my head that can't wait to schedule another uh, shoot. You know. So we went there. We figured we'd have like one or two, three interviews. There were like twelve people lined up to talk to us. We were like, this is amazing. They were really around the block. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I, yeah. I, I think that people want to speak. I think it's therapeutic to get the word out so and, much. and also to kind of ventilate what we went through. For me, thank you, thank you, because it actually made me realize that I actually still need to debrief even more within just not a group, but just individually. So it actually, talking about it, made me realize how much more of an impact still inside of us um, as healthcare workers. So and, much so. And um, yeah, so thank you, Mindy, for running with it. Oh, you love know, you. <laughs> I mean, I love you. So me and Stella work very closely together. Uh, so Stella's, uh, you know, part of the palliative care department. Our doctor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with, with I was doctor. like, she's Zillian. Like, are you yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, I think she's. <laughs> they see us as one group because kidding, we are always together. Wherever we go, we're always together. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. I work very closely with them, you know, in our clinical travels in the hospital, you know, so mm -hmm. so I think we're all in it for the same thing. And, you know, so part of Nina's film project, you know, for, for myself and Grace, the other nurse involved, um, was to do like a little video for yourself. 
And we said, you know, that's ridiculous. How are like me or Grace? You know, we have a whole hospital here full of stories to tell. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's really, you know, it's like a little love letter to the hospital. You know, yes, it is. It is a team effort, right? No, no one person can do it. It takes a village, and we were a village together. Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, so Nina, I thank you so much again for. Thank Just, you and all the students that put so much work. It looks so yeah. professional. Oh, no, Kelly, wow. Almost cried again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, 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 I like, I've watched it so much because in editing it, you like watch it over and over and over and over. And um, it, it hits me every time. Yeah. You know, it's powerful every time. Like, it, I, I, you know, I, I almost memorized it at this point, but it's like, it still hits me. So. Yeah. No, no, it's, I, it, it, you've been through so much. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, and you don't really. And I think just it, having right? people recognize that mm -hmm. might be helpful, you know, yeah. like <laughs> give you a little and, and make you recognize that you need to like give yourself some grace because it's been a lot, you it's, know. It's true. It's true. I mean, even just watching it, you're like, oh wow, it's just like Lily and stuff. It really does, you know, just paint a whole picture together. It really ties in, you know, just everybody's story. And, and it was the, some of the, the interviews we didn't show. Everybody said deployed. And that was deployed, deployed, deployed. And I was like, what is the deployed? And then kind of looking through the, all the, you know, uh, news footage. Yeah. And I was like, oh, because it was announced a war, right? So that was, and then kind of the war. But I loved your answer about like this, no, no comparison to war. Yeah. Like war is not, at all. is not even not close at all. to this, you not know. At all. And I, I think this film also brings consciousness that yes, what can we, what can anybody do for us is vaccinate, because yeah. the sooner we, we we vaccinate, one of the nurses had something in the nose. You wouldn't believe how the skin breaks down from the tightness of yeah. the mask. Yeah. So it's one mask, then the other mask, and I I I kid around that I cannot have a good hair day. <laughs> I haven't had a good hair day for two years yeah. because I, I had to wear the mask and we had to always wear a ponytail and tie it up and make sure it's there and then you're walking around with this, you can't even breathe. Yeah, Eric, the, the nurse with the Band-Aid, uh, basically had an, a massive skin ulcer. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, he, he's got to wear, like, he's, he, we were talking about this ex yeah. extensively. I thought to put it in, but I was kind of just for time's sake. No, uh, and then when, when they, you take it out, you have all the, the the lines the lines all over, and they're like deep. Some of them are deep. So yeah. So the sooner we all get become conscientious and, and get vaccinated, we can get through this together. Yeah. Again, yes. it's this togetherness. One as a whole is not political. It's healthcare crisis. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And how did you feel working on it, Kelly? Like. Um, I think the impact that it left on me afterwards was like really powerful. I went home like with that, like understanding what you actually do. Like what you see on the news compared to what we were filming was so different. And yeah, when I went home it was like, I kept telling my family about it and it really changed like not just my perspective but everybody else that I told. And I think that's why this film will be really powerful. And it's probably the one film that has stuck with me since like everything I've filmed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. that's, Kelly, that's wow. a lot. Really yeah. Yeah. Kelly's worked on films since she was like 12, literally. <laughs> and uh, she went so to Frank Sinatra really High really School really in the film <laughs> department, and then LaGuardia's film department, and now she's in Hunter's film department. <laughs> so wow. uh, that says a lot. So uh, that really does say a lot, because Kelly, I'll tell you a secret. I really wanted to go to film school when I was growing <laughs> up, and my mom was like, don't you like making money? Come on, you know, and I was looking at my parents from Rite Aid for like $50. I'm like, you know, maybe I do like money, you know? So, and, then, and then when I had a little money, I was like, well, I don't even have a story, you know? And then, boom, comes along Nina, okay, and Kelly, okay? And you, your art is amazing, you know? Yes. And, um, yeah, so I'm really glad the world's collided just as such, you know? Totally. Yeah, so that's, that's, how, how, that's, that's how, how it goes. Yeah. And Melissa, how was your take on it, like, when you kind of came into the project? Um, it was kind of, you know, like, it was kind of hard to, you know, capture, like, all these emotions into the drawings, honestly. Like, yeah. you know, it was, again, again, it was like, I can't even imagine, like, what you guys went through, you know? Like, drawing it was just hard, and I can't imagine what you guys felt. You yeah, know, it's like it editing was it was painful. So, yeah. like, how was it to live it? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I kept thinking. I'm like, they live this. Like, I'm just editing a film. But, like, it's so much. There's so much. It's so much. I mean, I felt like, you know... 
I'm very yeah, intense you just, and passionate about my work. You, you just know? do so what just you need like, to do. Right. Like, yeah, when I when I heard there was a pandemic, I felt like I was all dressed up for the right thing. Like, <laughs> I've been working my whole life to be an right. Avenger and look at this Infinity War. Wow, <laughs> amazing, yeah. It, it does feel like everything adapts, all your training. I went through the HIV AIDS pandemic. I was a very right. young um, freshman in college, and I, I worked there, and so I know some of the stuff, but nothing like this, nothing can yeah. compare to this traumatic event. Because if anything, we are left with trauma that we, yeah. it's gonna take years for us to, yes. to kind of see. And I think you were witnessing to that trauma as well. And yes. Yeah. You know, I think pe people were, you know, there was crying, there was anger, there was, you know, so I kind of left thinking, okay, I need to go back and give them therapy. Like, I, we need to follow <laughs> up and help them. Like, I was like, and we all left kind of like, I think, once we finished the first day of filming, we looked at each other, like all of us, and we were just like, oh my God, <laughs> like what have they been through? Like it was, I knew it was bad and, and I expected it to be, but it was like, we were blown away. We were completely blown away. Wow. And it's still happening. Yeah. It's still, yeah. It's still yeah. happening. Yeah, that's the worst part of it, is that you're not even getting a break. Cause right. No, I mean, it just keeps going. The number is even it's scary. Yeah, it's going up a little. Yeah. It's go and it's going up a little. Yeah, I'm starting to hear that uh, here comes the sun a lot more often now. Oh, no. When the patients you know, are being discharged, when they're they being play discharged. Oh, my okay. God. Yeah, they start yes, and that's the, the, one of the most interesting things to me is, like, one of the films in the festival is called The Clap, and it takes, like, the, you know, a positive side of the clapping. But I know as myself, um, I was raging because I during the clap yeah. before I talked to you guys. And then when I heard, I was, like, relieved because I felt like, am I weird that I hate this clap? <laughs> but then when I heard the, the doctor and Grace talk about, you know, there, and I was like, yes, that's exactly how I felt. Like, yeah. and I, I think because um, it was like you were put in an impossible situation with, no, you, there's no, what else could you do? And then in order to make society feel good about doing this to you, you, you know, they were like, well, we'll clap for them. Like, yeah. what? Really? That's your, that's your solution. You're going to clap. Great. Like, yeah. Boo ha! You know, like, so so I was so happy to hear them because I was like, okay, good, it's not just me. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, they could the, keep the clapping and uh, we'll take the uh, yeah, the, the food. Yeah, the food. Is Give great. us food. Yeah. Keep your, keep, food. keep your clap. Get your vaccination so nobody needs to clap, and that would yeah. make us much happier. That's it. Be responsible for yourselves yeah, and us. Yeah. 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 And Melissa, you, you were about to go off and do something completely different, and now you're doing art. Is oh. that? Yeah, so um, I was going to practice, uh, I was going to become an ASL interpreter, which I still plan to do in the future, you know, but, uh, you know, in the end, I chose to do fine arts because it's something I've always loved my whole life. Oh, wow. And um, you know how you were talking about, you know, how film and they were talking about, like, can you earn enough money? You know, yeah, that was like yeah. my exact same, you know, fear with, um, you know, with art. So, but in the end, you know, that's what I love and, well, I, I want to go for it, you know. Yeah, no, that's great. That's fantastic. You should. And yeah, so her, should. her talent like, yeah. is, is amazing. So. And, and when you do things from passion, everything, like the world will open up and, and whatever you do comes with passion. It will be a great, yeah. a great mm -hmm. job. Definitely. Yeah. No, it really does, yeah. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a star. You are an absolute star in your own world. So you don't need to be in film to be a star. Ouch. <laughs> So, yeah. uh, anything you guys want to say um, about it before we wrap up, Kelly, um, Melissa? I mean, this film has just like completely changed like my perspective on everything. Like, I went in there thinking, oh, you know, this is just gonna be like another shooting day. Oh, I'll just film, you know, go home. But like, I left there so impacted by what you said. Everything was so raw, and just like I was able to understand everything better. So, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing your stories. Like. Oh, I mean, that's Kelly. not something you have to do. <laughs> yes, totally, I agree. No, like, no, the no, bravery you showed to through to it all, but then it. also the bravery of talking about it, because it's hard. It's hard to talk about, oh, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I, I think talking about it helped, like, it, it changes mine, like, you know, it, and I've been putting up as many clips as I can from, you know, like, <laughs> don't get vaccinated, like, we really need that. That's, you want to help us? Don't clap for us. Don't feed us. I mean, get that. Right. I can't even believe some of, you know, we lost so many staff also, you know, that don't want to get their vaccine. Not that many, you know. I mean, they did, we had the, a religious mandate, uh, 
um, exemption, and then we had uh, the medical exemption, which is very limited. But, you know, it's just, you know, it, you can't believe how it just feels like such common sense to just get it done, you know, but I guess, yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't really say anymore. But yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard. It, yeah, it's, like it's, even your own. You're just you know? baffled because you're like, I, why? Just, just help, help yourself, help the world. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do your thing. So I, I just hope that this will help you to continue your profession, to enlighten your path, to go and be what you need to do for yourselves, for both of you. And, your program to continue to grow. Thank much you. success and thank you for the film. Thank you. We will we will be back. We will continue. So we did get a grant from New York um, Foundation for the Arts. Oh wow. So we can come back and continue. So um, Oh beautiful. Because I know you wanted it to be longer and I was like Mindy was like, Can we do an hour? <laughs> and I was like, Yes, but not right now. <laughs> no, I, yeah, our, our production timelines because you know you guys were available to film when we were doing joint commission. So oh yeah. Big inspection that and was so it was yeah. Killer. Yeah. It was like, yeah. But I think the hospital will love to see that. Our was, colleagues yeah. will love yeah. to no, see We try to get more of them in when it's a, we, yeah, it's a yeah. weekend. They're busy. Marketing's, yeah. Marketing's a little, yeah. a little behind and everything. Yeah. But we're yeah. going to definitely, yeah. 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 Whenever you want, I'm happy to. Absolutely. I'm, I'm still um, hoping to share some of the pictures. I didn't get the approval yet from the administrators. That's, yeah. that's what helped me back. But I definitely yeah. would want to share. So yeah. that this is kind of the first draft, if you will. So. Oh, yeah. right. We'll, we'll, we'll work from here. Yeah. We, we plan to make it into a, a, a long, a, an hour film. So yeah, I we mean, can incorporate more voices. We've got to get a whole little, little luncheon together with the PAs. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, they're just yes. waiting to hear from us. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but absolutely, I can't wait to keep going with this. And this is really wow. I'm really impressed that you know, so they viewed the film and they, they're you know really, you know, they came to contribute. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Beautiful. I would love to share this with Andrew. Yeah. Yes. Our marketing guy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So. Well, also, we have, um, so Anna and her mo mom from, they, they run Teton Foods, and they are here, and they want to come give you some prizes. Um, not prizes. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we call filmmaker prizes. <laughs> they just wanted to give you a little something to say thank you. Oh, well, thank you so um, much. I, I have them so bring for everyone on, in the film, so okay. I don't you can distribute I'll, at, I'll at work. I'll give them up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So if you guys want to come really down. Sweet. Oh, uh, Anna, thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> thank you for everything. For oh, thank you. There's no I have no words. There's nothing to say, but thank you for everything. It's, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> like it's just like, you're like, everything I could say would be inadequate. Yeah. So. Um, Since we're on the topic of food, it's a small uh, gift card. If you oh, guys thank you can so come by much. Visit us. Um, Absolutely. I don't know if you've ever been to the store before. Oh, no, but we just drove right past it. <laughs> thank you oh, for all you really 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 community. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. thank you. Actually, I don't know how many um, there are in total. I have a few more here. <laughs> I say get Mindy's in charge of it all, so she'll, yeah. she'll, she'll oh, bring perfect. it back. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank I'll distribute you. these to the, the cast and the um, crew. Yep. Okay, I'll thank be you there. So, so if you want to come by and ask for me, I'd be happy to show you around. Absolutely. <laughs> thank yeah. you. It's, thank it's you. like amazing. It's like a, a Greek food Greek wonderland. Food, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I was just Greek telling food. them. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't not hear in the story, actually. No. You know. I, I've been here my whole life, and teton has been here with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. I hope thank you enjoyed you. it. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you again for everything. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you.